Hey everybody, Dan Holstein here, helping your business take flight. And you know, I've been getting asked a lot of questions recently about sales and how to improve sales. So I thought I would do a little five part mini series on how to help you improve your sales. And our first episode is about having an effective sales mindset. So stick around. So if you're in business, you're in sales. And if we want to do well in sales, we need to have a healthy sales mindset. And when I ask business owners, uh, what's the top three things that come to mind when you hear the word salesperson, it's usually two thirds negative, one third positive. There'll be things like pushy, aggressive, slick, um, tricky, you know, stuff like that. And maybe a little bit of helpful and conscientious. So that's mostly the negative stuff. And that's probably because uh, of media about what, what a salesperson is, you know, like that cigar crunching, crusty old 1970s used car salesperson that's going to sell you a lemon. That's kind of the archetype that people think of when they, they think of these negative things about sales. But it's a shame because if we have a negative thought process about what sales is and what being a salesperson is or having to sell, we're going to be not doing as well as we could. We might not be prospecting as much. We might, might be nervous about approaching people uh, to see if we can uh, to help them. Etc. So I want to share with you a definition of what a salesperson is or what sales is. And it's just this, professionally helping another person solve a problem or achieve a goal. Right? So let me break that down. First of all, it's, it's professionally. Okay? We're doing this in a professional manner. So you're a sales professional. We're, and then we're helping. We're professionally helping another person. Another key word there, it's person to person. Even if you're B2B, business to business, you're actually helping a person. So we're professionally helping a person solve a problem. How cool is that? or achieve a goal. Wonderful. So sales is all about service in my mind. It's about helping somebody solve a problem. It's about helping them achieve what they want to achieve. We don't need tactics. We don't need them to say yes three times, any of that kind of stuff. It's just about showing up, recognizing that you're there to help. And if you truly believe in your product or service, you are a resource that could potentially help that, that customer out, right? And how do we find out if, if you can help them out? It's a discussion. It's a, it's a discussion to determine fit. Here's what we can offer. What is it you're looking for? Is, does, does that fit marry up? If it does, wonderful. Would you like to get started? If not, hey, maybe there's someone else I can refer you to that is a fit. So again, sales is all about professionally helping somebody solve a problem or fulfill a need or achieve a goal. And if you take that attitude as a sales professional or business owner that sells or whatever role you might be in that sells, that you're there to help, you're there to serve, you're there to solve problems, you're there, there to help somebody achieve something, and you truly try to help that person, you're going to come across with a positive energy the, the, your prospects can appreciate that, know that you're there for them, and you have a much higher chance of being able to work with that individual or that company. So sales mindset, we have to be positive and realize that we're a resource that's there to help. So next up, I wanna take you through in our next video about the buying cycle. We talk a lot about sales process and sales cycles, but I wanna to talk to you about your customer's buying cycle. So we'll catch you in the next video. In the meantime, if we're not already connected, please connect with me on LinkedIn. Hit subscribe here, hit the notification bell so you can get upcoming videos, and we'll see you soon.